Well, hello, everybody, and welcome aboard on our safari vehicle here at Pridelands. And we are starting off with an elephant bull who's feeding on a an umbrella thorn tree, a young umbrella thorn tree, breaking some of those branches and eating the leaves, the twigs, as well as the thorns. All of it very nutritious for elephants. My name is Chris Erasmus, and with me on Camera Ops is Johan Reinecke. We have an elephant bull. Look at that. Very comfortable with our presence, about three, four meters from us. That give us a little bit of head shake when we arrive, but he has calmed down now, realized that we are no threat. And he's happily eating. Drop these eyelids. That's the soft eyes I always refer to. Nothing aggressive in his demeanor. Nothing shows that he's irritated. He's happily continuing his late lunch. He's now transitioned onto the sickle bush, which is not only very nutritious, but also holds some medicinal qualities. But it is still good food for elephants. And they do play a vital role in the control of sickle bush, which is a plant that can very quickly overgrow in an area, if not controlled by some means. And elephants kind of like act as one of one of the natural sort of controllers of sickle bush. Native plant. Mabeki elephant, absolutely, that is how we like to start a safari. And why are you shaking your head at us, elephant? We're not doing anything. Well, he's okay. I'm not worried about that. That's just, they do that. And we are in the northwestern parts of Pridelands, where the one water hole is situated. The one we refer to as Leopard Dam. I'm going to duck, so... You want to pan over me here? What are you doing? Are you trying to intimidate us? And if you are, it's not working. You were just a gentle big old boy. And now you're not serious. Okay, if you haven't already had your cuteness overload, this is it. We found it. Cheetah cubs in the open, in the short grass, tackling each other, practicing their killing skills. They are so cute. This is the best day ever. Also, I do apologize for the wind noise. It is quite loud. Oh, here comes mom. <laughs> And I also apologize if there's any signal issues. It's so worth it though for this. This is amazing. Oh. Mom is just encouraging playtime, getting those little legs moving. Oh, a bit rude to smack mom in the face though. Well, here there's another vehicle in the sighting with us. We are just loving this time spent with the cheetah cubs being so cheeky. It seems like there's just so much happening that we don't know where to look. It's just cheetah cubs tackling each other everywhere. They're growing up so quickly. just in time we have such a, a nice uh, sort of view now it seems like all the animals on Madikwe are coming at once to drink here at the water hole so we've got this ele this elephant bull here just keeping an eye on this buffalo bull on the other side on the right hand side and then the majority of this herd is already at the water they came 
hot, so to speak. So yeah, one of the guides actually, and I, I thank him very much. I'm not sure what his name is uh, from Adikwe Hills, but he said to me, um, Andrew, this is going to be a good place to be because the buffaloes are coming quite quickly. And so we just uh, sat chat, we waited, and not even five minutes later, the buffaloes all came to drink. So this is quite a nice view. I have seen buffalo here at Flow Dam before, but not a breeding group like this. So this is very special. Now, if you've ever managed to watch buffaloes drinking water, you will know firsthand that it's actually quite a, a noisy thing. Not, not a, you know, when I say noisy, we, we often think of noise as a, as a negative thing. It's a natural noise. So, you know, when they go into the water and they splash and they splash, and they also slur up the water sometimes. And then you hear the grunting sounds. Just beautiful. Look at this. Now, what will be very interesting is if a big family group of elephants come down to drink as well. And we were watching that elephant bull earlier on. He's really keeping his eye on that buffalo bull. And we have seen, I don't know what it is, but sometimes, you know, elephants, they get annoyed by buffalo. And they chase them. What a beautiful experience. It's amazing. Clo Dam, every time we've been here, has offered something really special. The one day, hundreds of elephants. Now we've got a nice big group of buffalo. Peekaboo, we see you. Yes, we definitely do now, that's for sure. I'm sorry, we're not here to hurt you. We're looking for those pesky hyenas. We're in a deep sleep. Oh, that's my car rolling forward. Let me try and see if I can put the handbrake on. Here we go. Handbrakes don't work that well, but let's see if they do this time. Danny, I think you're asking why are they always on their knees? They're not necessarily always on their knees. This one has just been lying down. So they've got the his front leg tucked underneath. There they go, like that which gives the impression, I'm sorry, it's a female, which gives the impression that it's on its knees. But when warthogs are sort of feeding, they love to dig. They love to really get their snout into the ground for roots or tubers or possibly new shoots, anything that's sort of difficult to get out of the soil. So sometimes they do bend down on their knees, if you like, to give their head extra support for digging into whatever delicious delight they're after. So they're not always on their knees, but yes, their knees must be very s adapted for bending down on. They must have sort of specialized cartilage there to allow that. And if you think of the size of their head, it's huge. So they're obviously sort of relieving the neck there by going down on their knees and trying to pluck out whatever it is from the ground. Thank you so much for all the comments, for the questions that you have sent through to us this afternoon. We do appreciate it. And uh, yes, once again, tomorrow morning, we will be on our sunrise safari and looking for more interesting animals. And I'm hoping that we are going to find some nice things for everybody. And yes, you never know. As I say, you always have to... <laughs> I do, uh, infrared light is... Uh, I think it's a little little switchy, switchy thing. <laughs> it's, not, it's not working too well. But yes, have a wonderful evening, everybody. And uh, um, yes, make sure that you do join us again tomorrow morning on our Sunrise Safari. From the Wild Earth team, have a wonderful evening. And I am going to mosey off around this side and take a look around this side before we close down.